Recently, hundreds of thousands of people in the Houston area lost power for more than a week. Unfortunately, most of them were unprepared with no alternate source of power. I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people are looking for power backup solutions right now. And I hope this video will help you. There are hundreds of portable solar power stations in the market today, but the specifications are confusing, vague, and hard to follow. How do you know which one to buy? This video will show you the most important things to look for in a portable solar power station. Stick around to the end and I'll show you how to save potentially hundreds of dollars on your purchase of a portable solar power station. As I show you the four most important things to look for in a portable solar power station, I want you to keep these two thoughts in mind. Will your primary use of a portable power station be for home emergencies or powering your RV? Or will it be for just general camping and taking one road with you? Whether you use your portable power station at home or traveling makes a difference because the bulk of the unit is the weight of the battery. Number two, what are the chances that you're actually going to use solar panels to charge your portable power station? Most people who purchase a portable power station don't really end up using solar panels to charge it. Hey, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Here are the four most important things you need to look for when purchasing a portable power station. Number one, battery capacity. Battery capacity is generally expressed in terms of watt hours. Battery capacity generally determines how long this portable solar station will have power to power your appliances. There's a 15% loss of power when converting DC power the AC power. So this means when you're looking at how many watts your AC appliances are going to use, you need to deduct 15% from your total battery power. And that'll give you a better idea of how much you can power with your portable solar power source. Personally, I'd recommend a minimum of 500 watt hours for any portable power station investment. You can get some with less than that, but you can also just get portable power bricks to power devices like computers and cell phones and that's a lot cheaper when it comes to batteries i highly recommend that you only get a portable power station with a lifepo full battery these are also called lfp batteries avoid lithium ion batteries or any other battery chemistry because they're more hazardous and prone to combustion two inverter capacity the inverters what puts out ac power to power your appliances generally the inverter power will be expressed in peak or surge capacity and continuous or running capacity. The second of these are the most important thing you should pay attention to when it comes to the power to run your appliances. You can look online and see what the typical power draw is for all of your different appliances you plan to run off your solar power generator. Add up all the watts and make sure they don't exceed the total continuous power output from your portable solar power generator. This will help you adequately size your portable power station to your actual AC power needs. Number three, solar panel input power. Most portable power stations have the ability to input solar power from solar panels. However, there's a wide range of wattage and voltage that solar panels can put out, and you need to pay attention to the limits on the portable power station as to what it can accept in the form of watts and volts. Most portable power stations will tell you the wattage but you really need to pay attention to the volts as well. The reason is this limits the size of solar panels you can use, and you may not be able to buy cheaper solar panels to power your unit. You may have to buy expensive solar panels if the voltage is not right. Some will range from 12 to 24 volts, and some will range up to 60 volts. Units that'll accept up to 60 volts may allow you to use a string of used solar panels that you can buy a lot cheaper than you can the panels that are sold with, with the human. Four, pass-through charging and UPS. Some units will allow pass-through charging, and that means that while you're powering items with your portable solar power generator, you can also be charging them. However, the power is typically limited by how much can come into the charger and how much can go out through the inverter because both those activities create heat, and that heat can be damaging to the battery of the unit. A UPS is an uninterruptible power supply. So before you purchase a portable solar power station for UPS, make sure you understand the limits of input and output when used as UPS. You should also confirm whether or not your unit blocks pass through charging at the power level you'll need. Now, here's how you can save hundreds of dollars 
on the purchase of a portable solar power tool. Companies like Blue Eddy and EcoFlow, they offer big discounts on refurbished units. Though they're not always available, you can find these from the factory stores and they're listed on eBay. So keep an eye out for them as they become available and you might be able to save 25, 50% off a portable solar power station. In fact, this Blue Eddy EV70 that I recently purchased was only $279 and I purchased it through the Blue Eddy store on eBay. The retail price is $599, so that's a huge savings. Anchor makes some of the best solar portable power stations available and you can buy those directly from Signature Solar. They sell these at huge discounts off the retail price. And you can find the link in the description where you can save 50 bucks on your purchase over $500 of anything that's in your solar. So check it out. If you have experience with portable solar power stations or you have questions, please share those in the comments section. This helps all of us learn more. Hey, I'm Michael from Terry Hill Farm, where we're exploring energy independence and trying to save money while living two steps from off grid. Thank you for watching our videos and please subscribe.